Welcome back Psychonauts. Today we're diving into an exciting topic that's been gaining a lot of attention lately. Fall back, digress and let it digest. Read between the lines, I'm aligning you with your highest self. Let's talk about the wealth. How do you expect to grow if you ain't working on yourself? The potential of psychedelics in the field of medicine. Now, you might have heard stories about people's life-changing experiences with substances like psilocybin found in magic mushrooms and LSD. But we're not talking about recreational tripping here. We're talking about groundbreaking medical research. Let's start by sharing a story of a lady who's been through the process. She described her encounter with psilocybin as peaceful, joyous, incredible, and life-changing. And you know what? Her journey wasn't about having a good time. It was part of a controlled medical test to explore if psychedelics could help people quit smoking. Research on using psychedelics for medical purposes is still in its early stages. You might wonder why. Well, there's a few reasons. The federal government classifies compounds like LSD and psilocybin as Schedule 1 drugs, which creates extra red tape for researchers. Also, funding is a challenge due to the stigma associated with these substances. Despite these challenges, studies have shown promising outcomes. One study involving smokers found that 80% were smoke-free for six months after a psilocybin treatment. Another study with end-of-life anxiety patients indicated lower depression scores after psilocybin therapy. And there is even evidence suggesting that psilocybin could help individuals with alcohol dependence cut back on their drinking. What's happening in the brain during these experiences? Well, brain imaging studies reveal increased connectivity between different regions of the brain during psychedelic sessions. This enhanced communication might explain the lasting positive changes people experience. But let's talk about the duration of these benefits. Do they last long term? Studies hint that the effects might taper off after a few months. And yes, there are risks involved, especially for those prone to psychotic conditions. That's why careful monitoring and controlled settings are essential. So, what's the future of psychedelic research? More funding and rigorous studies are needed to fully understand the potential of these compounds in medicine. Governments and private contributors are stepping up to support this vital exploration. You might wonder why this research is only emerging now, given that humans have known about psychedelics for centuries. Well, it's because these substances can't be patented, which means pharmaceutical companies aren't as interested in funding the research. And the backlash against psychedelic abuse in the past further hindered progress. As we venture into this new frontier, it's clear that psychedelics have the potential to transform how we address mental health and medical treatments. It's a journey of discovery that's just beginning, but the path ahead looks promising and transformative. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Psychonauts Only. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit that like button and please subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Stay curious, keep exploring, and vibrate your mind state. Fall back, digress, and let it digest. Read between the lines, I'm aligning you with your highest self. Let's talk about the wealth. How do you expect to grow if you ain't working on yourself?